We often get asked how we can produce the invisible thread protectors that we put on the end of our rifles. And um, so I'm just going to show you the setup in the lathe. And to make an invisible thread protector, after you've cut the thread on the barrel, uh, where the barrel is dialed into the bore, um, you then redial the barrel. So initially, you put a pilot into the bore, and you put a dial indicator onto the pilot and you dial the barrel up so that there's no run out on the bore and then you cut the thread. But to make the invisible thread protector you then redial the barrel using the outside diameter of the barrel as your index and there's very often run out between the bore and the outside diameter. The hole is not in the middle of the piece of steel and with good quality barrels that can be down in less than two thousandth of an inch. On a factory rifle it can be as much as 20 to 25 thou run out between the bore and the outside diameter. So here we've redialed the barrel to the outside diameter and if you can see without too much light on the clock we've got hopefully less than a quarter of a thousandth of an inch movement now on the outside diameter of the barrel. So now we're dialed in correctly on the outside diameter of the barrel. And as this is a carbon wrapped barrel, which is a lightweight barrel, um, in the same way as we make the invisible thread protector, if we're fitting one of our lightweight titanium nozzle brakes, then again we want a seamless joint from the muzzle brake onto the barrel. So I know that there's approximately, having measured the barrel and measured the muzzle brake, there's approximately 40 thou to take off this part. So from touch on, now I'm dialed onto the outside down to the back of the barrel. When I start the part up and start cutting, I know I'm only going to take about 30 thou off and then I'm going to start taking final measurements to get that seamless joint between the two parts. <laughs> too small a part and not to let the tool idle on the part too much otherwise the part heats up and you get poor finished quality. I'm now within 5 thou of the final dimension, having measured the outside diameter of the bar barrel and obviously measured the muzzle brake. And we now go down in much smaller sequential cuts, normally with stainless, till we get to the, the desired dimension. However, with titanium, if you take two smaller cuts, then you get uh, the part heating up and rubbish finish quality. So we're going to take two thou cuts, and because I know we've got 5 thou to go. I've taken two two thou cuts and one one thou cut and now you can see there's nearly a seamless joint between the new part and the barrel and now we use fine grip paper to polish the joint between the new part and the barrel and eventually once we've blasted it all um, there's practically no visible change between the two and then you get an invisible thread protector or an invisible joint between your barrel and your muzzle brake.